welcome to today's talk and i hope you are all fine and um yeah one day to go for our master hanuman's day and you know not much has changed from hanuman's time till now still there are critics still are people who are pointing fingers at homeopathy who don't believe in homeopathy who don't want homeopaths to work i think we have to find hanuman within us we have to find passionate hard working innovative person within us who will have to stand up in different difficult difficult situations and go through the struggle a uh, life of a homeopath is 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 a journey of struggle passion devotion dedication and joy so i want you to be a part of this but for that you really have to master our subject being a homeopath is not easy you, you really need to you know every year once a year you need to read the entire organ on once a year you need to entirely read the entire boric materia medica so that's what i'm doing for you normally i do it while i'm traveling or doing something or sitting at home but this time because of the lockdown i want to do it with all of you with every single one of you because i genuinely 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 want all of us to grow together and do great work together and um, i just just have good affection for every single homeopath who's watching this video only you know to all of them so let's go ahead with the video um i'm going to talk about few remedies um uh i want you to share these videos with the right people i want you to um watch these videos read it from boric don't go only by my indications study it from boric learn apply and be a master of your destiny all right so let's come to the first remedy we are talking about latrodactus mactans the black widow spider lay in gentlemen what's it very well known for i'll tell you mainly whenever i get a case who comes with a acute chest pain i ask them go and do an ecg first especially when i get a indication now till that person goes to the hospital to get an ecg i think of giving a remedy one of the remedy that that is in my mind is latrodactus mactans what is the indication lot of pain in the chest constriction with pain radiating behind um pain in the neck occipital pain difficulty in breathing pain almost going to the forearm with numbness sinking feeling and more importantly the body becomes cold this is the indication of latrodactus mactans not many people will tell you but it can work beautifully and even many thrombus can be solved uh, dissolved by this but you have to get investigated you have to may be in some cardiac condition also take allopathy along with homeopathy so hold on your horses lane and gentlemen next remedy laurel cerise cherry laurel again a remedy that i use a lot in my clinical practice uh what do i use it in so in i i, I have a very interesting case of um um congenital cardiac uh, a disease mitral valve disorder in a, in a baby who constantly gets cough dry cough and who had asphyxia as a child and that improves beautifully with lorosiris a spasmodic tickling cough um especially in cardiac cases especially in children uh with noises when when they eat or drink um body becomes cold not better by warmth spasm the main sensation of lorosi family is suffocation that is the main thing uh, along with uh, asphyxia and neonatorum cyanosis even in children with cyanosis a patient puts hands to heart on the chest dry cough gasping clutches the heart uh, clutching the heart huh? um one of the only remedies where clubbing of fingers is written in boric huh? um deep sleep stertorous breathing coldness but not better by heat this is lorosiris uh, lorosiris has hydrocyanic acid in it it should be compared with camphor and sickle cough very interesting remedy very very interesting ha <sighs> next remedy lecithinum again a remedy i use a lot lecithinum has a lot of symptoms like phosphorus so you will see a lot of indications of phosphorus in in, in lecithinum also what are the indication let's see um generally in cases um uh, in autoimmune cases in cancer cases 
in exhaustive cases when the hemoglobin goes down a lot and there's extreme weakness the serum electrolytes go down um nothing is working that is when i think about lecithin lecithin is very important vital process of plant and animal organism it has a influence on nutritive area and especially in anemia convalescence neurasthenia insomnia it should be used in lower potency frequent repetition it increases the number of rbc and amount of hemoglobin read this again read this again lane gentlemen excellent galatagorge also i want to tell you i've used it in impotency also also tuberculosis so a lot of tuberculosis with general improvement and um, can help you put on weight as well they can be very forgetful dull um, there can be a lot of pains uh, all over the face all over the body um, craves a lot of stimulants especially wines um, but there is a loss of appetite also very high amount of uh, also in diabetes you should think about this along with phosphoric acid also so it comes very close to phosphorus huh? very important for um, adrenal ovarian insufficiency impotency is very strong as well are you getting an idea lane gentlemen say yes all right let's go to the next lemna minor one of the main remedy in cases where there is heavy rain and because of that there is a lot of cold and cough and there is nasal polyps think about lemna minor so it is a catarrhal remedy nasal polyp but atrophic rhinitis asthma with nasal obstruction worse in wet weather so rainy weather think about this remedy a lot little bit complementary to natrum sulf this loss of smell crusts and reduces the nasal obstruction even if it is in edematous condition that's why for nasal polyps for adenoids think about this remedy mouth often it's very dry and putrid bad taste because they are opening the mouth and sleeping noisy diarrhea i think lemna minor is the closest remedy i have for natrum sulf and it is the only remedy in boric where heavy rains is written remember this lane and gentlemen compare it with dalkamara but dalkamara is more foggy and damp remember tucrium marum varum as well and calendula also so this is all clinical materia medica ha huh? what i'm telling you is totally clinical if you are a homeopath who wants to do clinical homeopathy you want to sit in your clinics treat a lot of patient then watch my video open boric underline it read it again and again and no one can stop you my friends no one not even me no one all right so one more last remedy uh, for today <clears throat> liatris picata i have used it in cases of liver cirrhosis liver failure where dropsy is there a lot along with cardiac and renal pathology so it's a vascular stimulant increases the functional activity of skin dropsy due to liver and spleen and renal dropsy general anasarca due to even heart and kidney issue and a uh, lot of history of diarrhea and pain in the back as well so use this liatris picata it's also called as colic root use it beautifully <laughs>